ia o fafifianga ma ma pese ai mai se fo itanga fa samoa o se tasi le o fe auta u e tu ina tu ai le au au ina le ngana ma le anga nu o samoa it tono tato nu ma la la fang o fafifianga pe o a wala ia e it so ta ia itanga ta la to te so ta ai u po pese la to te ba tu fo i ma na tu na tu ngai i Fianga, I may say for Tanga or Lato Faya. Yeah, only for Tawa, there was some Faya on a Samoa lift to out. In the ear for Manatu, my ear to a Fangu for you, Tato Tamata. In the Awala in Faya, now in the Bella Tato Mamana, Malatato Wamanu. Yala lay for a few Fianga. Bela were too far Tassila on Samoa, if I take the Inga or the Fatalinga Pepe. Maile tau sanga sa o o inai ta mai tito tono potua onga sa o o le nganga na e ala le a ile ile la langa male mame tau lima sa mo pe le siapo ia o o tito tono la le vasenga siva sa yai se mana tuna tuna e fa pe feo na tato fa onga ina siva mfa pe fianga sa mo ia ina ia o inai le nganga na fa pe la nganu. Ia o ma faila le a onga sa moa tu au ona lato tu fatasia ia taanga o pese ai mai se fo i upu o lato pe pese ai ia vato se fe au le ta o ma le a onga o le a mea sina sa moa ia fa fatai le lotto no fa na o fo ia mai se fo i faia onga ia grant o na le ta faia fo i le le va se nga siva. When we first started, I used. Printed out the lyrics on the paper and had them um, use English translations direct from the dictionary, say. Um, and it was useful, but they still seemed to struggle about trying to connect with the words and the imagery, like I was talking about before. So, <clears throat> what we what I did was change it to pictures, and then work it into where they would instead of having the English word there for the translation, they would have the, the picture, and that seemed to help a lot in um, having them remember. Um, the, the meaning of the song and the meaning of the words. And so when we were able to change that, um, the students picked up really quick and started singing the songs nice and loud and, and um, understanding the importance of the message. And I see that um, some of them are really um, finding the same passion for the language and passion for the culture and the dancing and, and how it, that can, is still a vehicle even in our modern era with writing and media and all this. But the songs and the dances are still um, the most useful tool in um, passing this knowledge down. So it's very rewarding to see um, the, the students learning and seeing them sing the songs on their own. Um, and even when they're um, outside of the school, they'll just be singing the song on their, uh, with their friends or um, just practicing on their own. And you see that um, they're taking that knowledge that will hopefully live on again for another generation. I'd like to express my gratitude to Fituau and to the um, ANA for being able to um, fund this initiative and to see the importance in a project like this. And um, I can attest to the, the value that the, the students are getting and how that will have a long-lasting impact, uh, not only in their lives as individuals, but also as, as our Samoan community as a whole. Song and dance have been, have been used and are being used by Samoan communities and Polynesian communities around the world. And so um, by putting our more focus on that and trying to fine tune ways in which uh, we can um, really access that, uh, the knowledge and that, uh, the, the, the love and longing for the culture for these kids, I think is a valuable um, initiative and I'm just very grateful to be able to be a part of it.